good morning. When I last left you, we were talking about Sergius Paulus, and he is the proconsul, uh, or you could say almost like a governor over uh, this large region in Cyprus. Uh, he said he's spoken of being a man of intelligence, and the word for intelligence has nothing to do with schooling. It is a negative word used for those who are prudent or wise in their own mind. So he is a shrewd uh, individual. Uh, after all, he had a sorcerer as a consultant. Nothing new, uh, so, uh, so did most of our leaders at that time. They would go to uh, um, sorcerers. Um, and so he, it says, summoned uh, Paul or Barnabas and Saul and sought to hear the word of the Lord. So here's an unexpected door that's open by the proconsul who wanted to hear the word of God. Verse 8. But Limus, and here's the name of that, you know, that uh, a magician. We know him as Bar Jesus, but uh, this is uh, Limus, the magician. Um, uh, for that is the meaning of his name, opposed them, seeking to turn the proconsul away from the faith. Paul was opposed by this man named Limus. Uh, his real name was Bar Jesus, which means the son of Jesus. And uh, Luke couldn't bear to call him that, so uh, a limus it is. And um, he was a kind of advisor to the proconsul. He attempted to frustrate the missionary efforts of Barnabas and Saul. And we should be not surprised or shaken by opposition. Uh, wherever there is likely to be a great success, the open door and the opposing adversaries will both be found. Uh, if you have no adversaries, you, you may fear that uh, there will be no success. A boy cannot get his kite up without wind, nor without wind uh, will drive against the kite. And so the various things, uh, and this uh, uh, Spurgeon had mentioned this about the boy and the kite, you need wind, which is resistance to or to fly the kite. So he saw Paul's work as... Just that, um, going to have success, but they're going to have opposition too.